Hi, this is Shadi. This video wouldn't have been possible without the help of Val Childs. Thank you, Val. So, Val is a catch wrestling professor. I will link his Instagram in the pinned comment. And this video, we're going to be talking about takedowns and throws that are not the usual ones that I talk about, like the double leg and the fireman's carry. No, some that are very not only aesthetically pleasing, but also very judo specific. So I'm going to talk about uh, some of the variations of a lot of throws that you know already in judo and the same principle applies, whether it's unbalancing or the form of the throw. And of course, the multiple variations that you can do uh, under the same name. So first one called steering wheel foot sweep. It doesn't take... Uh, an advanced grappler to know that this is a kosotogari where you actually put down uh, the weight over that foot by either pushing down the shoulder if you're not wearing the jacket or pulling down the sleeve or the lapel and then from there taking it from underneath them so very common you see it in many grappling forms and at the same time very effective um, now we're going to be talking about a variation of what I call uki otoshi or a floating drop as you can see there's many ways you can do this so in judo this is the first technique you see in the nage no kata so you have to understand something that it's not just a pulling down but also you can turn and use your hips for momentum a lot of people say no if you turn that becomes a sumi otoshi that's false these two throws are differentiated by the direction of your partner. If they go forward, it's uki otoshi, whether you turn or not. While sumi otoshi, which is uh, Mifune's favorite throw, is actually backwards. So the basic form in the kata, you see where you drop down on your knees. But here you have some very competitive variations. You can use the sleeve as a steering wheel in order to break their balance. Of course, you can use it as counters for throws. Uh, you'll see in just a minute. But here, again, it's not the most, it's not the easiest throw to pull off. But there are ways so you, to get to it. Here, for example, as a counter to O Sotogari, uh, Takato called it O Soto Sukashi. But it, it's a variation of Uki Otoshi, as you can see here. You let it pass through. And then, as they are bending forward you have the control with the hands and you finish it now the way that uh, Val did it I saw one variation that reminded me of this headlock done by uh, the Greco-Roman wrestlers you see when you drop down on one knee or two you take the hips out of the equations and so it becomes a hand technique so you can wrap the hand uh, wrap the head or a uh, work with both arms there's many ways you can do it but um, like I said they go forward and it's only hand technique because the hips are out of the equation next it's this uh, variation of I would say daki wakare slash yoko guruma you have to understand the difference between these two throws is somewhat subtle but in order to make it clear daki wakare is where you can lift over you as you spin uh, around your opponent while yoko guruma you use the momentum of the spin itself in order to throw them there is no lifting in yoko guruma according to kodokan so you see here uh, you block an attack you roll and spin around them ha or uh, sorry uh, on their side hence the name the side wheel and you use that momentum of the spin in order to throw them. Uh, in Nage no Kata, you actually flatten yourself completely, so there is no lift. But here is a more competitive variation where you stay somewhat on your feet, but there is no lifting. This is key. Um, you see a lot of people do drop techniques and then they're countered with this type of uh, throw. So here you see, um, 
you just roll keeping them close to you and then they will go over it's very easy and it's very beautiful at the same time while that kiwakare on the other hand you see there's a big lifting motion above you and then you get them over it's not just the spin on its own and also yoko guruma you go deep with the feet uh, between theirs so uh, that's the key difference now let's take a look at tani otoshi this variation every white belt's favorite injuring throw white belts please it, it's not a checkmate against the advanced if anytime they turn their back you just hang to them and do this you'll end up injuring them it's ugly and you're not better than them and it's not a proof that you should be promoted please be careful look how graceful it is in terms of form very different to what you are doing please be careful with this next one is yoko otoshi the way he slides his foot deep to the side uh, blocking the ankle on the inner thigh level this is again a, a more beautiful form of it however the competitive form can look something like this uh, it's not as graceful obviously but still you block and then you go deep and a lot of people will confuse this with kata guruma it's not right versus left can look like it so as tokuno demonstrated that it's a uh, kataguruma for the week in a sense but it's not anyways now the next one is ukiwaza or elbow wedge with underhook trip uh, understand something so whether it's scarecrow or any type of name uh, ukiwaza is a very versatile throw um, in the judo repertoire now i'm comparing the two because of the form and the principle i'm not saying this one took from that one no so in nage no kata this is the basic form with overhooks and underhooks but uh, in more of a judo content context you have sleeve you have lapel you pull the sleeve and then you whip it as you block the direction is to the front tanya otoshi is to the back and yoko otoshi is to the side here you see multiple variations as you can see you can have a one-sided uh, grip um, you have a deep grip down the back and the sleeve crossed and then from there you take the same form and you throw them to the front again same principles applied just the grip varies here you see from the fireman scary as you started but you drop down and then you let them pass over you there is no there is no lift anymore over the shoulders and a dumping with the hand so it becomes a sacrificing technique so again this is why a lot of the new kataguruma are just sacrificing techniques with the shape by holding the sleeve next one is the foot sweep um, the way he falls with him uh, to the side is very reminiscent to yoko gake again uh, much like a lot of techniques there's a very graceful look to it and there's a more competitive look to it but here as you can block you pull them to the side and then go down with them in order to finish the throw and that makes yoko kake or a side hook and uh it's again very versatile you can be somewhat to the back you can uh, do it like a foot sweep form as you see here or you can block the ankle from the front and let them whirl over you a bunch of variations you can do it's a very beautiful throw uh, rarely seen but nonetheless it is still being done in competition so if you have anything to add please let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening